Okay, here we go. And new hair, who's this? Okay, we are gonna open this up now. You hear it crackling? Ooh. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you're not new to my channel, then you probably heard me talk about HelloFresh so many times. I've had my HelloFresh subscription going on three years now because it just makes my life so much easier. By taking away all the hard work that goes into preparing dinner, HelloFresh does all the shopping and meal prepping for you. Ingredients arrive at your doorstep pre-portioned and ready to cook along with a pictured step-by-step -step recipe card. I know for me personally, when my schedule gets chaotic, it makes it easy to fall back into a dinner recipe rut or getting takeout. But HelloFresh keeps mealtime exciting with over 40 recipes to choose from every week. Another thing that I love is that it helps me cut back on spending money when it comes to takeout because HelloFresh is 25% less expensive than takeout. So if you're interested in trying HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna16 for 16 free meals plus shipping. That offer is for new subscriptions only and varies by plan across nine boxes. That's code McKenna16 at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to a weekly vlog. I already did my Sunday reset, so I'm going to be posting those on shorts now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't film it for the vlog, but I did just want to catch up with you guys as I get unready. So get unready with me from the day. It's been a really productive, good day. We went to church this morning, played outside for a little bit. We cleaned up the outside and then we got the entire house pretty much reset. And that's a shout out to my housekeeper because not having to do the deep cleaning and just picking up and resetting the house on Sunday is immaculate. And takes so much pressure off my shoulders. Also, I think this shelf is about to fall. Yeah. Yeah, I really thought I did my big one, but I'm gonna have to take everything off of here because it's slipping. It's slipping all over my head, like a lot. At first it wasn't that bad. I knew it was leaning a little bit, but now it's leaning a lot of it. Anyways, for my cleanser, I'm gonna be going in with the Tatcha, the Camilla Cleansing Oil. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you say it but anyways i'm gonna wash my face and take a really good shower and then i'm also gonna take a bath and relax and order my food on uber eats because the kids already ate but i didn't eat so i'm a little bit hungry and this one that i just use is an oil cleanser so it just removes all the dirt and makeup off your face and then i'm going in with the tatcha classic rice powder Let it get foamy. And then go in and do a double cleanse. Uh, after I take a shower, I'm gonna take a bath and do like a hydrating face mask. Oh, I love Sundays. And you know what? Fun fact, I never understood what people were saying when they said, I have the Sunday scaries. I never understood what that meant. But it's the fear of going into Monday. And I'm like, I love Sunday. I love Sunday. I'm back to using my clean skin club towelettes. I'm just honestly desperate to do anything at this point to get my skin back on track because I really want to get my face to stop breaking out before I get a chemical peel because I want to get a peel to just deal with all the hyperpigmentation from all the breakouts that I've had this year because I like to do peels just at the end of the year that's typically peel season and a better time to do it than summer so that'll be coming up soon I'll probably do one in October since I kind of miss September and then December okay now that my face is clean I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower so i'm just gonna put my hair semi up in a little bun and then i'll finish up with the rest of my skincare after i do the mask and take a bath but let me give you guys my thoughts on some of the new products that i picked up at ulta last week that i've used a couple times just over the weekend but i just wanted to give my first impression if you don't have one of these please go get it off of amazon immediately 
Because I'm going to tell you, the amount of dead skin that came off my foot and I just got a pedicure. So they definitely don't do it enough at the salon. Get one of these for at home. Wait till the end of the shower. Also, get one of these. Okay, this little brush that I got off Amazon. It looks like this. I use this and this to really just scrub in there and get my feet. My feet were so clean. But yeah, wait till your feet get soft in the shower. Wash them off. Use this on your heels. Baby, it looked like cheese. I was like... That's me? No. Going after that with this little thingy right here, I'll link all the stuff in my Amazon store for it. That's my idea. Anyways, and then buff everything out. And then I also use this part on my big toe to smooth it out and keep the skin soft. And then when I get out of the shower in the bath, I'll show you guys little socks that I got last week if you were watching the vlog that are immaculate. I'm just gonna finish up with my back here after the shower with you guys, but all of that, been loving. Amazing. This stuff. Okay, this is the only thing that I've never used before that was a body product and it's the Kuka Wash from Truly and I've got to give it to them. this. They did a big one on this. It's gentle. It doesn't irritate me at all. It has a nice smell to it, but it's fragrance free. It just smells like this light from rose and like tea tree and lavender smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells really good and fresh and clean and it just got me clean and fresh down there. And I know tea tree is really good for just being a natural cleanser for your downstairs area. So yeah, I think I found a new feminine wash. And it's been a while. I've been using just the Bioderm oil cleanser down there in that area. I feel like this just, you know, it's just going to get in there a little bit more because it's made specifically for that area. So, yeah. Come here and get you one of these. I just wanted to tell y'all really quickly, I'm about to shower. And then when I get in the bath, I'll place my order on Uber Eats. I'm just going to get some chicken lo mein noodles. I'm obsessed with this place called Chef House. Well, maybe not everything there, but they're lo mein noodles are fire. So that's what we have for dinner today. We're out of the bath. I did my face mask. I forgot to show you guys though, but it's by this brand. If you've ever heard of it, it's called Epicutus. It's literally ridiculously expensive, but it helps to heal your skin barrier. And so I just bought the travel pack. It's way, way, way more affordable. And then, yeah, I use it when I get treatments like this to help my skin heal afterwards. So for finish up with my skincare, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha. This is their Essence Clumping Treatment. And I just, Put a little bit on that. And then it says you just press it in with your palms. Whew, my face is so rough. After you get the clear and brilliant treatment, your face feels like sandpaper. I love this packaging and these bottles though. It's really giving me life. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Epicutus after that. Tonight is like my hydrating night. I think I'm just gonna go about to skin cycling because I feel like when I was doing skin cycling, that was really working for me because my skin wasn't getting too dried out by like retinols or like too irritated by exfoliants. And yeah, so tonight it's gonna be my hydration night since I did that hydrating mask. So I'm basically gonna slug all of my products with Aquaphor after I do this moisturizer. I never knew Tatcha's moisturizer was to die for so thanks for nobody telling me the name of it is water or something i don't know but it literally feels like water on your skin it feels so good and so far my skin really likes these products i can usually tell if my face doesn't like something immediately because it will break out and i haven't had any new breakouts and i've been using them <laughs> for a whole two days so slay and then i'm gonna grab my aquaphor so i can seal all this in The food is on the way. It should be here in like 
20 minutes but we shall see i placed a small order and i know when i place a small order it usually takes longer because nobody wants to go pick it up because it's not as much but hopefully it's somebody will come through for you girl anyways let's do some hair care as well since we're just having a whole self-care night i'm actually getting tired like after i took that bath i was like i'm a little tired so i want to dry shampoo my hair and the one i'm going to use is going to be this olaplex number four I feel like this is a really good alternative to washing your hair when you have braids in because it still keeps your scalp clean. It kind of dries up and absorbs that product buildup and just refreshes the smell too because I feel like braids, I mean any hair that you don't wash is going to collect an odor but of course you're not washing braids every day so. Whew. Okay. Now I'm just going to put my hair up in like a loose low ponytail and then throw my bonnet on the maintenance for these braids you're supposed to do a little bit of leave-in and then do two braids but i already have not been maintaining them and i'm about to take them out in a couple days so this is the best we're gonna get got the little bow peep bonnet on for the vibes oh my gosh i was actually totally gonna forget to brush my teeth Teeth, but I purposely wanted to it's because I was waiting I usually brush my teeth in the shower but for some reason I didn't take it in there but I've been wanting to give you guys an update on this toothpaste by Lush so if you didn't see my haul a couple weeks ago girl what are you doing because you should have never skipped the vlog but anyways I forgive you um <laughs> this toothpaste is a jelly consistency you just dab your toothbrush in it and honestly like this is my favorite toothpaste ever like i would probably go to lush just to specifically buy this toothpaste it's mixed with essential oil so it also has oils in there you know oil pulling is really good for your oral health like your gums your teeth just everything and i feel like this makes my breath actually become odorless and it's just like really nice so it's gonna brush my teeth Ooh, you know what i was thinking about since i have the aqua for my face we should gua sha yeah let me look on tiktok and see gua sha i want this one girl okay to pop up <laughs> we're not gonna get copyrighted though stop it she's like doing like this but is she going i think she went above her ear Hold on. yeah she did so she went like this and then around her ear maybe i should try this side okay yeah that's better okay i gotta put a little bit more aquaphor and on the lower part of my face i don't even know if i should do gua sha since i got this skin treatment maybe i should just wait but i want to start consistently adding this to my routine as well i'm just been really in my self care healthy girl era we love that i'm not gonna do all over my whole face since i don't know if it would affect my face it feels like rough like sandpaper and you're not supposed to exfoliate and i know this is not rough but i just don't want to be too harsh on my skin so i'll probably wait until after my face is like healed from the laser yeah that feels nice we're definitely gonna start getting into this should i start making asmr videos <laughs> i really feel like i couldn't do asmr but everybody always tells me that i should because they're like you whisper in your vlogs anyway so you might as well just slap asmr on there i'm like okay noted all right i'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins because it looks like i'll be waiting a little while for my food so of course ritual probiotic i don't care what brand it is but take a probiotic girl me and my mom always laugh now because well we've been taking probiotics for a long time but like growing up her mom or my nana would always tell us like we we need to take probiotics and we would always kind of like brush it off like okay yeah girl whatever and then now me and my mom are probiotic addicts core fresh i take two of these and one of the probiotics oh my gosh i wonder if there has anybody even picked up my food no i'll be sweet by the time i get to all right, I used these three products on my skin on Saturday after I did my everything shower. If you saw like the end of my vlog, and y'all, my legs feel immaculate. They are so smooth. Of course, I just scratched myself. I'm the most accident prone person ever. I bruise so easy and scratch myself. I'm so mad. I just shaved my legs. Now I'm gonna have a cut. I scratched it on the, the drawer. Anyways, okay, so 
this way melrose body cream which i've never used this before actually and then i'm gonna mix it with the way melrose body and hair oil but first my tried and true my holy grail they are elite for this but also if you i and i forget about this so i'll probably start ordering that too but there's an inexpensive version of basically kind of like what this is it's by neutrogena and it's the same concept it's like a hyaluronic acid serum for your body but it's actually way more affordable so i'll be forgetting i'll be forgetting but i'm just gonna put that all over my body yadi oh my gosh i do love the necessary serum though <laughs> yeah i've gone through like 10 bottles of this necessary serum so anyways i'm gonna do that and then like i said i'm just gonna mix these like this together put a pump of oil in there I don't know why I put it on the back of my hand, but anyways, yeah, then I'll follow up with that over the necessary. Oh, and then let me show you guys too, because I'm going to get off camera and like really slug my body and really moisturize, but let me show you guys what I've been doing for my feet. Okay, so the little um, things that I showed you guys, if you watched my last vlog in my Amazon haul, they're little socks, but they have this gel padding right here that's infused with like aloe and some other stuff, whatever, whatever. I don't really know how much that plays a part in it after you like wash them and stuff, but they don't have any toes, which I like because I can sleep in them without feeling like a psychopath. But basically, I've been putting Aquaphor all over my feet and I'm just going to slide these on and then hop into the bed. And then of course, my favorite lip mask ever. Okay, well, this forget the filler. I'm gonna put that on too really quick. Love this, love this, love this. Oh, and no, let me show you guys that I show you. Look at these candles I got over here. And then I have my candle lit, and then I have the low lights. It's such a vibe. I love this for me. I love this for me. It's been so long since I've really just been like in my self care, just <laughs> you know like bag and really just taking care of myself and not like rush the process and just had some time so i'm loving but anyways i'm gonna like i said go ahead and take off everything i don't know why i did that um and then moisturize my body and wait for my food hopefully i'm kind of getting sad now because i'm like dang i should have ordered a long time ago it keeps just like pushing the time back nobody has picked up my order oh somebody has picked up my order but they're not even close to the place so it'll probably be 8.30 by the time I eat, but we're still doing good on timing. I want to be asleep by like 9.30. breakfast ice my face because i picked don't worry about it girl they were ready but i'm gonna ice my face we're gonna make everybody breakfast and then we're gonna go on a nice little morning walk so let's make breakfast yeah today is your presentation day what does your board say for breakfast bagels toast <coughs> eggs butter beef bacon i only have two sausages left but these beef breakfast sausages jelly oh and then appetizer strawberries
All right, breakfast is done. Everybody eats, well, kind of something different. Carter eats bagel with bacon, egg, Carson, jelly toast, sausage, egg, and then Carmelo eats his strawberries with his egg, and yeah, so. Breakfast is they have it with, Carmelo has coconut water, and Carter and Carson have orange juice. And now, while they're eating, we're gonna pack lunch. For lunch, we're gonna do something easy and basic today because I honestly don't know what time it is, so that means we need to speed it up. And we've gotta start by making some hot water. I did bring out my kettle, but I need to clean it out a little bit, so we're just gonna heat it up in the microwave to warm up his thermos. Okay, now, what would you like in your lunch? A banana, grapes? Banana, grapes, and macaroni. Okay. This is the type of lunchbox I'm using. This is the thermos part. And you do gotta put these rubber pieces in there, but they don't come already put in the box. So if you remember on one of the vlogs, I was like, mm, I don't really like these, but you have to put this rubber part in so everything doesn't slide around. This is what we're using. And then we have some little dividers gonna put in there. I'm gonna do a banana. I'm just gonna like cut it in half so it's taken out of the peel so it doesn't get all brown and then put it in there. And then we're gonna do a side of he said he wanted pickles, so probably pickles and goldfish. And then as a snack, we're gonna do popcorn and fruit roll up. So let me show you. the rest of the hot water to make my tea because I've been drinking spearmint tea every morning and bloom before I put anything else on my no, stomach tea. yeah I, don't need to I didn't leave myself much hot water today but that's okay it'll just be a quick bit of tea and then I got Change myself the color? yeah Let me see. it looks like this okay well while his the rest of his food is heating up I just got this honey yesterday. I'm gonna put a little honey in it just to sweeten it up. Sure. All right. Well, ideally we would have more than that, but mm, that was a lot of honey. Yikes! I'm gonna let it steep a little bit longer so it'll get a little bit more, more potent. But tea, and I'm gonna make my greens in a second. I'm gonna finish packing up his lunch. We're pretty much done. We just need to put the macaroni in the microwave and cook it. This is the one that we make. Eat the straw. Messing up my pantry. Okay, and then for snack, we're gonna do the smart food, and then we're also gonna do a fruit roll up, and this just goes in the front pouch of his backpack that he eats after lunch while we go to the car line and stuff. I'm gonna make my ice bowl so we can ice my face really fast before we head out. Wait, I gave you a lot of stuff. I'm into tapping things this morning apparently. High five. Okay. You ready to dunk your head? It's really not even that cold. <laughs> he's, he's ready. <laughs> He dipped his head all the way down there. I can never remember where I put the cheese sauce. Oh, here it is. The macaroni's done. I'm not going to have time to ice my face in the bowl today, so I'm just going to get out my roller because we actually need to leave soon. So let's make our greens. We got a new flavor. It's berry. So let's see. Oh! <laughs> Not 
is way worse than mango. Holy shit. Woo! I mean, maybe I adjust it to the mango. I don't know. This is just gonna I like mango better. No, dude. No! That was not good. Okay. We show ice in the car. You know we feel alone. Don't take it personal. This life's a miracle. So I let go. Drop off complete. I'm gonna spray myself with this antibacterial spray and get my sunscreen on immediately. I low-key jumped in the shower for like 10 minutes this morning and I was like, why did you even take a shower? I guess it's because I just need to wake myself up, but I'm about to have to take a shower after I come back from my walk, so that was kind of pointless. But I was like, okay, well, let me not, not do like my entire skincare routine. I don't know how long we're gonna walk for. I haven't decided. Because <sighs> I don't know if I want to go under the bridge today. If you watched my last vlog, we went Sorry if the camera's super shaky. The roads, like, I don't. Dang, it's like super shaky. Okay, hold on, I'll talk to y'all when I stop. I said it once and I'll say it again. It's something so motivating about living in the city. If you live in, well, everybody lives somewhere, right, in the state, but if you've always grown up in your hometown, but you don't live in the downtown city of your home and you wanna move away so bad, just move downtown. Move downtown or closer to downtown and tell me it's not a completely different vibe. I used to not really like Dallas that much and I wanted to move so bad, but now that I live closer to downtown, I love it over here. I mean, I'd be saying I'm gonna move out to the country, but probably not, probably not. But anyways, put my sunscreen on really quick. Before we go, it's just something that's so motivating about seeing big buildings and just the sun is still coming up over the bridge right now. It's just so pretty. Don't get me wrong, like other places are pretty too. The suburbs are still pretty, small towns, but it's just something about like, I don't know like driving through the city. I don't know, I guess because it's just more scenic than seeing fast food chain restaurants and a highway every day. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's so pretty. I just love it. I just love it. Whew, my skin is still rough from getting that treatment last week, so. Okay, well, since we're here, let's also put on some hand lotion. And I gotta put my shoes on really fast. Oh, I didn't bring my perfume. I'm gonna probably leave that fragrance in my car. I was gonna wear the warm cotton since I'm just coming on a walk outside today. I was about to put this on my face. I'm glad I did it. Moisturize the hands. Definitely need some lip balm. I'm so glad I put this little pack in my car. Look at me. His freaking cover keeps coming off his car seat and I don't know how to fix it. Anyways. Okay, we gotta smell like some. This is the little mini Jo Malone fragrance. I need to get some running shoes. I heard everybody really likes the Asics. I almost bought a pair, but then I didn't. I was thinking about getting some new balances too, but we shall see. Today I'm wearing foam runners with no socks, so pray for my feet. I have a really bad habit of not wearing socks, and it like disgusts Aaron ever since I've been knowing him. Well, fun fact, when we were growing up, when we were kids, he used to always make fun of me because I would never wear socks, and I would always wear sneakers or tennis shoes, and my feet, I know that's right. She look like she on a prayer walk. She out here. Oh, it's just so nice. Everybody's like walking her dog, just walking. I think I'm gonna walk up it up like the last time we walked on the bridge but i think i'm gonna walk the trail today because i kind of want to go underneath the bridge anyways i used to have really stinky feet my feet smelled like corn chips it was hilarious but it really wasn't i don't i should somebody should whip my ass but regardless mm, dang i did not come prepared for my walk today but that's okay i just wanted to get out and do it i'm get so caught up in like trying to figure out every little detail of things and sometimes you just gotta do shit like i really have other stuff i needed to be doing but we're gonna make this walk shake this morning but i want to be able to carry my you know and i didn't bring a fanny pack and i don't want to walk with my purse <laughs> and i don't have any pockets i guess we're just gonna be lacking today I have a holster. I need to find it. I can just wear my fanny pack when I come walking from now on. So I have a place to put my keys. I'm not going to carry this big ass water bottle. I'm just going to take my phone, which is about to die. After we get done with this walk, we'll probably walk for like 30 minutes, not too, too long. And then when we come back, we're going to run by CVS because we need to get the kids body soap and toothpaste. And I need to get some Desitin for Carmelo. So let's go for a walk. Hello. Hi. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. We just finished our walk and we are or we stopped by McDonald's. I got a strawberry banana smoothie though and a hash brown so I feel like it's not that bad. Girl breakfast. Alright. Usually McDonald's breakfast slaps or smoothies. Today uh, hash browns alright. But anyways I only went on like a 15, 20 minute walk. None too serious. I didn't have my headphones or anything, so I was kind of just doing a prayer walk, if you will. Just talking to God. I just wanted to get out there and do it and go for a walk this morning. I'm trying to just start getting in the habit of doing better things. So, a win is a win. A win is a win. Maybe it'll be a little longer on another day, but I actually do have some other things I need to get done. So, we're going to go back to the house, take a quick shower, and get a little bit more fully ready for the day and i saw this thing on tiktok of course and it's like these little apple caramel pops i don't know but we're gonna make some of those this afternoon and then for the rest of the agenda for the rest of this week we have a couple appointments i'm getting my eyebrows touched up for my annual that's really long overdue and then we're also getting my hair redone so yeah i'll hear y'all when i get home i forgot to say i think i told y'all we we're going to cvs but cvs doesn't open till nine so i'm just gonna go when i pick carter up because he has a half day today anyways and then i also want to talk about something you guys i don't know it's just been on my mind so i, I was talking to y'all in the last couple of vlogs just about kind of of like how your mind shifts and changes when you're on a spiritual journey so today when I was walking I have a really hard time discerning whether if God is speaking to me or if I'm speaking to myself when I have those inner thoughts or conversations with him sometimes I'm like yeah okay I know and sometimes I don't so something that I'm praying about is just having discernment over that and then I feel like it is something that will come in time with me developing my relationship with him but when I was thinking about that I just wanted to like talk to you guys because a lot of you guys are also on a spiritual journey and we talk a lot about it in the comments and stuff and so one thing that I've noticed while I've been on this journey is just I used to always hate when people would bombard me when I first started my journey and then obviously I shared it with you guys and people would be like oh you say you're doing this but don't do this don't do this don't do this but I'm like you can't bombard people with all of this like oh don't listen to secular music oh you're still doing this that's not christian like because it's like the that veil over their eyes in a sense hasn't been lifted yet and it only comes in time of everybody's journey and everybody's journey looks different and so like as i'm going obviously more things are being revealed to me and i feel convicted about more things but one i just wanted to say that i'm also watching like some of my friends be on their journey as well and so they're still in their phase that i was in like maybe a couple months ago of like oh Oh, I still want to go to the club I still want to drink I still want to listen to like secular music XYZ etc but they're going to church and they're trying you know what I'm saying but it only just comes in time so the best thing that you can do for people when they're on a spiritual journey is just to encourage them and just keep the walk with them and not always try to criticize or critique things because honestly it's just something that one day changes about but it's over time you don't wake up the next day just like prayers you don't pray and then wake up the next morning I mean you can sometimes it happens but you don't just wake up the next morning and then it's there you know what I'm saying and that also ties into another thing that I want to talk about if you don't talk to God or you don't pray a lot girl let me tell you God will answer every single one of your prayers and I'm not saying it's gonna be today tomorrow or next week but if you talk to God about something and when I started my prayer journal specifically I remember always hearing about God cares about even the smallest little things that you you know like the smallest little mundane things that you not even think to pray about you can pray to God about so when I was on my journey I was like okay I want to see you know what I'm saying not that I'm testing God but like does he really hear just like the little prayers we all come to him when our heart is heavy and we have these big burdens that we want him to like take off of us but I'm like okay does he hear my little prayers so I prayed to God I was like God if you hear all my little prayers can you get rid of these gnats in my house please we had first moved into this house and it wasn't like we had a lot of gnats but there's just a couple gnats here and there and I was like I don't want this to be a problem but that's something like minute and not something that someone would normally pray about because obviously you pray about the bigger things too but I wanted to pray about the little things and just see and wouldn't you know it, the gnats 
I mean, they still come and go, like, more recently, but I'm like, is that me falling off my train with Jesus? Do I need to repray about these nets? But for a long time, they were gone, and I didn't have to do anything. I would leave dishes in the sink. They would be dirty. And I know that sounds like something so small, but I just want to share it because I know that there are people who are at different parts of their journey that need to hear certain stuff. That if you get on the loophole of being on Christian TikTok, everything is a lot deeper. For people who have been on their journey for like, so much longer, they have way more discernment. They are more spiritually literate. But when you're just like a baby christian if you will or you're just starting off your spiritual journey everything is not revealed to you at one time you're not perfect at everything do you get what i'm saying you don't have the best discernment you're not the wisest praying can be a lot reading your bible can be hard all of those sort of things but i know in the long run i'm gonna eventually get there you know what i'm saying this is where i'm at right now but if i take the time to like look back and reflect to where i was to where i am now god has answered every single prayer that i've asked for as far as just drawing nearer to him, being consistent in my Bible, being consistent in praying, my patience as a mom, just so many things. So, if you haven't prayed today, girl, just, just try, I'm telling you, it's, it's like baby steps. Don't expect to just change your life and be this completely different person. I'm not saying don't actively try, because I'm not saying that, but I am saying if you want to be somewhere else than where you're at you don't want to be so lukewarm or you don't want to be doing things that you know in your heart you feel convicted about pray about them and god will work them well he will work it out for you okay so anyways it's not a race it's a marathon you know what i'm saying like it's a lifestyle change you don't want to stop doing things and then go back to doing them one day in a couple years or a couple like it's a lifestyle change not an overnight quick fix so anyways i just figured i would share but now i'm actually gonna go Get myself together, let's go get ready, I'm home. I just wanted to say that before I got out of the car, so let's go. I said I was gonna take a shower, but I'm actually not. I only walked for like 15, 20 minutes and I don't feel that disgusting, so. I know, some people are gonna judge me, but I digress. However, I am going to rewash my face just so I can do like my proper morning skincare routine. And then we're gonna go ahead and just head to CVS because I'd rather do that, get that out of the way and then come home because I have a little bit of cleaning and stuff to do. Just like in between when Rachel and my housekeeper comes. So I just wanna tidy up a little bit and put away some of the laundry. Also, I decided I'm priming my edges. I know a lot of you guys told me not to. I'm gonna be the guinea pig. We're gonna see what happens. But since I'm getting my hair redone on Friday, I'm gonna perm what's left out of the braids before I take the braids out because I feel like this is a good way to gauge what I actually need to put the perm on. And we're gonna pick that up at CVS as well. So, yeah, no more of this. And then I've been debating if I should start picking out my braids today or tomorrow, but I feel like today is probably a better day because I have something to do tomorrow morning. But also I could probably take them out tomorrow night. So we're gonna see. Anyways, let's go ahead and cleanse our face. Still using the same cleanser. You know what I've been thinking about doing since, you know, my face has just been like crazy all over the place. I don't know if people are gonna like scream at me, but everybody always has suggestions and recommendations of what they think i should do with my face so i've been thinking about oh i'm gonna go pick up everybody's skincare routine that they suggest to me i'm gonna use it for a week may the best skincare routine win at this point you know what i'm saying like oh i'm so tired i have my spirulact on it's ready i've been doing everything i'm supposed to be doing i'm taking my greens every day i'm about to start taking them twice a day and then i've been drinking the spearmint tea in the morning in the night so i'm like it's got till the end of this month we got 10 more days left in september and baby i need to come on with the come on and, and clear it up clear it up okay let me rinse is it focused on my face because i cannot tell okay anyways whenever your face whenever you get the clear and brilliant your skin like I don't know. It's all these little black dots whenever you dry your face as it's coming off. Because it's like a peel, not a peel. It's not as dramatic as a chemical peel, but it still flakes off. This side of my face has been doing so good. Flourishing. This one, it's like a roller coaster. Anyways, okay. Where's my vitamin C serum? Skinceuticals. You're not supposed to touch the dropper to your face. But I also don't want to waste the product on the back of my hand, so shaggy is expansive. I just want to put a little extra on there. Okay. 
I'm also going to use my high frequency wand. I don't usually use it in the morning, but you can use it for five minutes total a day. And I feel like I use it only for two or three minutes at night. So I'm going to start trying to zap these little active pimples during the day. This really does work and help. This one, I'm just a super red person. If I get any type of little bump on my face, it always turns red no matter what. Some people, they can get acne and you can't really tell because their acne stays the same color as their skin. No, me? I, uh, it's always going to show up and show up. It always has to be red. So I had this little pimple on my forehead and I zapped it last night. It's still red, but there's nothing in there. Do you get what I'm saying? It just has to heal now. So anyways, let's zap it up. And then I left my sunscreen in the car, so I'm gonna put my sunscreen on in the car. And we're gonna go see ya. I found the best way that it works is if you sing your ABCs while you zap the pimple. So you're actually like doing it for a, a minute and not just like quick. So it's like A, B, C, E, D. It's a little spicy, I'm gonna turn it down. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, U, R, S. Alright, boom. Sorry, my nose is stinging. <laughs> my allergies are acting up. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face. Come on, we'll get it together, camera with the photo corrective essence mist. It's just like hydrating and I don't like to use a moisturizer during the day on top of my sunscreen because my skin is already oily and I just feel like that's clogging my pores. So I've been using this. It helps with the redness. But it's also moisturizing. It's like an essence, skin boosting, soothing skin, reduces visible redness, so. Yeah, okay. Some lip balm. I'm not gonna do my edges because we're literally just gonna run to CVS and then come right back and we're gonna perm them and hope they don't fall off. If my edges fell out again, I honestly, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would But baby, I'm ready to wash. I'm ready to wash this hair. Hopefully I'll be able to maintain it a little bit better this time. I feel like I know what I'm going to do differently next time. Well, on Friday when I get my braids. So, we'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm also not getting 1B. I'm getting like 2 so it's gonna be hopefully a little bit lighter. I think that will look cute. I'm scared to go all the way blonde on my braids with boho, like to get small, knotless, blonde boho braids. I feel like it's crazy on me because I've never done it before, but I do want to try blonde, but we'll probably wait till the summer. You know what I'm saying? It's fall now. I was thinking about going red. I saw the girl who colors my hair when my hair was blonde. She did somebody's red the other day. I was like, I could definitely see myself having red hair, but anyways, we're not gonna go down that route. Okay, let's go so we can come back and make our little apple caramel dipper things because i think carson will really like them so we can make them before lunch so he can have them as a little treat okay i'm back i got it i don't want to hear it yeah it'll be my mistake my regret or my slay okay anyways and then i also picked up the kids some body wash i just did this one because they don't have the foaming one that i normally get Got some desitin for mellow some toothpaste because carson was out even though i just bought carter some because i thought carson had some yeah they're gone i gotta do like a stockpile i need to go to costco or something y'all know i'm still on a hunt for a deodorant it's like i your girl can't win so anyways this is a different kind we're gonna try this one out and let's go ahead and make it the little apples because it's almost lunchtime. I'm just going to do some factor meals for lunch. I want to do the little apple pops because I think they're going to be one good and then two just like so cute. Yeah.
it's much later, but let me show you. Okay, I'll insert a picture of what it was supposed to look like. I need a smaller melon or scooper, but basically they're supposed to look like cake pops, but be apples and then you dip them in caramel. And then I've tried to freeze them to make the caramel hard, but that didn't work, so. But I feel like it's a good idea for a cute apple treat. You could do candied apples like this on a stick that kind of looks like a cake pop. What are you doing? Nothing. You made cake pops? No, it's an apple. Let me see. It does not look like an apple. But then you can top them with sprinkles or with pecans or whatever you like. Is it delicious? It's frozen. Okay. Hey, yeah, careful. Is it too dangerous? The apple is hard. Can I eat a sprinkle? Sure. Here, yeah, let's get one from right here. Ew. It's the same thing as caramels and sprinkle. Okay, mommy, I think I'm, I think if I'm done with my homework, you can come see it. Frozen apples are good. Uh, mom. Can I have <laughs> my a <laughs> I got a little distracted. I was gonna come back and talk to y'all earlier, but it's Carter's half day, so I picked him up from school. We're gonna perm my edges later tonight. We're gonna see if it's a hit or miss. I don't wanna hear it. It'll be my mistake or my slay, like I said before. But yeah, we're just chilling for the night. Usually when I be vlogging, I pick y'all up and talk to y'all about every little thing and do every little thing, but I'm trying to like relax a little bit. So I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I'm perming my edges later tonight. And then after that, tomorrow, we have our microblading appointment and then our hair appointment Friday. And then we'll probably do some like cooking and baking this Saturday and stuff, but yeah. I'm trying to talk less. They were good though. They weren't aesthetically pleasing, but. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Mello is right here with me in the bathroom, playing in the sink. I was gonna go in my room, but I don't want him getting into all my stuff, so I'm in the kids' bathroom. So, yeah, we in the We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it, okay? I've been getting perms since I was four. I had perms here longer than I've had natural hair. So, I think I'm gonna be all right. Everybody keeps saying your edges are gonna fall out, but no. I really don't think so. We're about to find out though. I don't know if you should be in inhaling these fumes. This is giving me childhood drama, the stick right now. Oh my gosh, I remember when I would scratch my scalp before I would get a perm. Burning, burning. My mom would just surprise me. Oh, you getting a perm today. I'm like, you're a I think I'm gonna like it. I'm trying to gas myself up because I'm getting nervous now, but I think I'm gonna like it. Add wearing gloves, remove the lid. You're supposed to mix both of these in there, right? Step B. Oh, this is shampoo. Yeah. Just this. Okay, then you got a shampoo. How long do you leave it in? I can't remember. For fine hair, it don't say how long to leave it on. I don't see the chart. Oh. Okay, like 10 minutes. I don't care. Nope. I love it. It's either gonna be a big mistake or I've always wanted to burn my edges. Just always. Like, I just always get tired of them looking like they need to be laid. At least if they were just like, you know, oh shit. I wish I put some aquaphor around my scalp or the perimeter, but I'm not. I don't know if this is a good idea. Hey. Yeah, hype me up, hype me up. It's gonna be all right, right? It's no big deal. It's not like we're doing the whole head. We just wanna wake up and, and they just be a little bit more, a little bit more slay. Okay, here we go. Somewhere, some hairstylist is screaming. My hairstylist did DM me and was like, girl, what kind of edge controller are you using? Don't put a perm on your edges. I'm gonna do this part right here too. I'm geeking, I'm geeking. Somebody said it's gonna look dumb when my hair is curly. Ah, ah, no, no. 
But I don't see how. This probably was too much. I probably shouldn't have done this part right here. Ooh, that's too close to my natural hair right here. Ooh, take it out, take it out, take it out. I promise I'm not going through a crisis. I just really wanted to do this. Ow. Okay. I had to kick him out because he was trying to get the stick. No. Mm -mm. At least this is not my hair. Should I rinse it out now? It's been like four minutes. I can't tell. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it out because I'm scared. Sure. Okay. What did I do? This side I rinsed out a little bit too soon, but it's just like looser. I'm gonna shampoo just to make sure it's all out so my edges really don't fall out. Okay, I'm gonna rinse now. Okay, it's getting softer. It's getting, it's getting, I think it's, what? Can you save a perm? Yes. When I originally dyed my hair blonde, I wanted it to be this color. Like the same color as his hair. appointment to get my eyebrows done so this is what they look like before maybe y'all can't tell but the pigment is really faded and i'm like way overdue for a touch-up so anyways i'm right on time because i had to be here at 10 and i had some work to finish up so we're about to just run in really fast and then i will catch up with y'all after i keep saying i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it like i've not done it i bought all my equipment <laughs> everything like you just gotta start somewhere i know i know i know I'm just disinfect your brows. Put them down. Is there anything you want to change or adjust? You want to darken them? What are you thinking? So the only thing that I was gonna—I don't even know if we can adjust mm -hmm. it, but I just—I don't know. If, I can't remember. I think it's like this one, maybe like a little bit higher mm -hmm. than this one. Last time we did them like originally to like my natural brows, mm -hmm. but I wanted them to be like a little bit more symmetrical. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if we can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely. I get what you're saying. Um, I'm gonna just remeasure them out for you, okay? Okay. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm reading a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone, cause when you're gone, I miss the face. Later talk, body talk, there's no way to bring it up. One, two, three. Okay, let me take my mask off. <laughs> Hello, pimple. <laughs> Love that for me. Okay, I gotta turn the air up way up because it's hot and I need to go get something to eat and drink immediately because I'm shaking. I think my blood sugar is low. And you know when you get tattoo, and this is tattoo, it makes you like shaky. Anyways, but yeah, these are my eyebrows. I couldn't film while she was doing them because I didn't have like a big tripod and you can't move 
obviously while you're getting your eyebrows tattooed so yeah this is who I went to when I initially got my eyebrows done so I'm just I just came for my touch-up they lasted a long time personally I think she's the best in Dallas tinted would recommend I'm sure there's other good people too but I like her a lot and um, so anyways I like I said I got my eyebrows done like two years ago so came and got my touch-up touch-up they lasted Ooh, Brahms or Starbucks I think it's giving grounds. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and go. But anyways, yeah, I'm just headed home. I gotta go start taking my hair down. Also, the perm that I attempted to do on my edges yesterday, I didn't leave it on long enough, so it did not do anything at all. <laughs> Woke up this morning, still had to, yeah, so. Anywho, basically the aftercare for the brows depends on what kind of skin type you have, but for me, because I have combination skin, basically like no direct sun, no saunas, no gems for the first seven to 10 days, and my eyebrows will peel for the next week or so. And then you start applying ointment on them on the third day. I think it's basically just like aquaphor, but anyways, yeah, so. It's got a little bit of aftercare to it. They will lighten up significantly from this even though i feel like this looks this loki looks great it looks good but they will fade a little bit as the tattoo peels the only thing that we did is we adjusted my arch a little bit to make them just look a little bit more symmetrical because when we initially did my eyebrows the first time i gotta eat this i'm sorry i feel like i'm all like Ugh. the first time we did them she just aligned them to my natural eyebrows which the way my natural eyebrows grow one of them just grows a lot lower than the other one so like my arch in the one that's higher is it just makes a big difference i don't know how to explain it but she basically just lowered out the arch in this eyebrow which i love because it just makes my face more symmetrical because i already have like a very asymmetrical face yeah that's the only thing we really changed at the touch up um i love them i think they look great shout out to jasmine and yeah it's like 115 now I was gonna try to go get my pedicure, get my toes done, because my hair appointment's gonna be all day tomorrow. And one of my toenails chip, but I'm probably gonna have to wait till next week because I don't think I have time. I was thinking because we remapped my brows, it took a little bit longer than I was anticipating. So yeah. And this time it didn't hurt. Last time I started numbing at the very beginning and I feel like it actually hurt a lot. Like it's like getting a tattoo on your face. But this time it was a breeze. I literally didn't feel like anything. It felt like just scratching, if anything, but it genuinely did not hurt. I guess I'm just gonna head home. Because I don't want to be rushing, trying to pick up Carter from school. I'm about to go to Brom really fast <laughs> and get some chicken dinners. I'll most likely just see you guys tomorrow once I'm going. Oh, well, actually, when I take down my hair and I do my hair care treatment and stuff, I'll probably do like a little trim. So I'll probably come pick y'all back up later tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and start taking out my box braids. Because Lord knows, I don't even know how long this is going to take me, honestly. But we got our hair appointment in the morning. TTYL. Good morning, train. That's how you know it's early. I've been up since five. Because I wanted to make sure I could blow dry my hair. I washed and blow dried my hair and took my braids down. I used the Amika products that I got when I went to Sephora a couple weeks ago. And I feel like the conditioner and the shampoo is cool, but I used the overnight intensive hydration treatment and then rinsed it out this morning and blow dried my hair. And I didn't really hydrate my hair that well. I just have low porosity hair and there's only like a few products that will really get deep into my hair and actually moisturize them. So I'm gonna do sunscreen and then I'm gonna conceal my face a little bit because honestly, who wants to get their hair done and have their brows all the way done, but then have all of whatever this is going on. So a little conceal under my eyes i just want to use this brush i just like the way brushes feel on my face but i need to clean these brushes off oh, real bad oh i didn't even put primer on i'm not gonna do my whole face i'm just yes i am i'm gonna put the lotion on all over my face then i heard peach correctors also help with like covering up dark marks and stuff like that i'm gonna get me a chemical peel immediately but i need to go to the dermatologist first and get my acne under control because if you get chemical peels but you have not figured out the root cause of your acne yeah you're just it's there's like literally no point in giving a peel because you're just gonna have hyperpigmentation and breakouts after you get the chemical peel so i was hoping to have that figured out by now and have my acne under control but i've tried i think everything that i could try under the sun so i think I mean, I'm taking care, better care of my body internally with the bloom and taking my greens and my probiotics and stuff. So I'm hoping that will help, but I'm definitely going to go to the dermatologist and I'm probably either going to get back on birth control or take spironolactone, 
which neither one of those I really want to do because I don't want to deal with the side effects of birth control. I think I'm big now. Like I never really got all the way back down to my pre-pregnancy weight after Mello and I know the birth control will make it 10 times worse and it'll make me gain so much weight but i'm like granted i could start working out but i'm like are you really gonna i am really gonna start working out i've definitely found a better schedule and a better groove as of lately so i think i'll be starting to work out here in the next couple of weeks or so i don't know exactly what i want to do for working out if i want to go back to pilates because i did like pilates cycle bar oh she's different yeah i i can't mess with cycle bar not until i get in shape because baby when i'm telling you i was screaming i was literally crying in excruciating pain after i came home from cycle bar and my legs were so sore i was like yeah fool me once can't get fooled again okay that's something i will never put my body through until i've worked up my muscles a little bit more because holy crap holy crap i feel like being sore is like the most uncomfortable type of pain also and people always act like being sore is such a good feeling. I, who? No, not me. What it really is is just getting older and my metabolism catching up to me because when I was young, I didn't have to do anything. That's why I'm not in like a good habit of working out and stuff because I never had to work out when I was younger. I was always in shape, you know, when the slim thick was a real big trend. If you're my age, when we were like in high school and younger, yeah, I was slim thick with my cute ass okay my high school body was chef's kiss but i feel like that's everybody everybody wishes they could go back to their high school body for the most part okay i need like a lighter concealer just to dab it right here i did get a new blush but i think i'm gonna save my new blush for church on sunday when i get ready for church it's the cream blush from fendi oh i was trying to open it up so i could see the color Oh, here it is. I honestly don't know that this color is going to look great on me, but I was like swatching them. Might as well just do a little dab. I mean, who's it not? When I was swatching them at Sephora, I just felt like this was the only color that showed up on me, but wasn't too... Can y'all see it? You see, y'all be trying to blame me. I think like you can't see the blush. You see the blush. You see the blush. Kind of. It's all right. We're just going to do a little bit. I don't know. I feel like it's so hard for me to find blush colors and lip gloss colors for my skin tone that I feel like complement my one blush is like up here and one side is down here. So love that for me. I feel like it's hard to find colors that look good on my skin because I already am like so red by nature. I'm just always red. And so I don't want to bring that out. I want like a more of like a peachy pink color. But pink colors do not look good on my lips. Neither do nude colors. Like lip glosses, colors and stains do not be looking good on my lips. I don't know what my lip color is. I've tried to be a nude brown combo girl. Doesn't really look that great on me. I tried pinks. Unless it's like a sheer lip gloss, it also just doesn't really look good. Oh, I forgot why YSL sent me some. YSL sent me some lip colors and a mascara. And I didn't grow these bottom eyelashes out for nothing. I gotta start putting a little bit of mascara on them. Do we look away? Should I put a little concealer? This escalated quickly. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do a lot. And then here we are. Here we are two seconds later. I feel like I can never really tell if I like my hair or not when I first get it done either. So I feel like if I feel like I look cuter, it'll it'll be better. It'll be better. Anyways, the eyebrows are getting full beat already. Like, mm, you have a full face of makeup on. It really made my hair curl up right here. Oh my gosh. My hair is getting so long. I mean, it's not so long, but from where I started. And then I'm debating if I'm just going to go ahead and cut the damage off of my hair. But then it's going to be like, probably like this short. I got to cut like four or five inches off. But I can see where my hair, like all this red is where my hair used to be blonde. And then we had to like neutralize it back to like brown. So all the redness is like the last of the color that I had in my hair. 
And then this is like my natural hair color coming out. I have like the same color hair as Carter and Carson. Uh, Y'all probably can't tell. I mean, I can see it in the light, but I have like a sandy. Mine's not as light as theirs anymore. When I was a kid, it used to be like as light as theirs, but I have like a sandy brown color type hair, like my natural hair color, which I don't think I've ever had my natural hair color and been because I dyed my hair, I think right when I first started doing YouTube. But we're gonna get back because my hair before she was that girl. Okay. Got a nice little ponytail going. In the cut. Mm -hmm. My forehead looks so big. Whenever you take down a hairstyle, it's giving mega mind. And I didn't even have a wig on, but it, for some reason, it's just giving. Oh, and then this is my edges, y'all. So definitely, it's not giving that perm permed anything. So, LOTD, these gray sweatpants, though, I don't know if I really like the way they sit on me. Like, no way I try to put them. They look flatter. And like, if I pull them up, it's giving fupa. And if I put them down, it's giving fupa. It's the fupa. It's the fupa. Not the pants, maybe. I don't know. But I'm just wearing these gray sweatpants that I got from Target. And then I have one of this gray skims top, which I need to put a bra on. I gotta get better about wearing a bra. I feel like when you first get your boobs done, it's just all fun and dandy. And you don't have to feel like you have to wear a bra. So it's just like, no bra here, no bra there. <sighs> I'm really wishing I would have got a fat transfer to my boobs now, y'all. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I think if I do any other cosmetic things, I think what I'm going to do for myself. I don't know what it's called exactly because I, I just don't know what it's called, like the specific name. But ever since Mellow, yeah, when I be sneezing, it's a little trickle trickle. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> but that's what <clears throat> having a catheter three times or more than three times because I've had a catheter more than three times will do to you. Okay, let's pack my bag really quickly because I'm about to go sit down and do my Bible time while the kids are still asleep. It's just now 620. So of course I'm packing a lip gloss. I'm pretty much gonna pack over everything that's in my purse. So let me grab really fast. And then I'm also gonna pack my laptop. And then I found one of my AirPods and I would love to be able to be on my computer because the girl who does my braids, she has like this stand where you can like work while you're getting your hair done. And I'm like, oh yes, slay queen. We love that. Anyways, if you want fresh breath, Stop chewing gum and please get these. Listen to your grandparents, okay? My grandma put me onto everything, but I swear. Can y'all see me? Enough. Like, it don't gotta be perfect. I need to put this in a bun. Because it is not giving in a ponytail. We need a little bunion. Anyways. Touch land hand sanitizer. Some keys. An item that shall not be named, but going into the back. Wallet. Another key. I don't know. I was thinking about, I think I'm just, no, I probably should just charge this camera and take this one. Let's see what the battery is giving. Oh, it's pretty charged. I need to put a memory card in here. One of the kids is up. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, anyways, that's pretty much all I'm going to take. I'm just going to take all that stuff. And sorry, it's dark. I just don't want to turn the big light on yet. But yeah, I'm about to do my Bible time. I don't care. They can be up. It's 6.30, so I got about 30. Or 6.20, so I got about 40 minutes. Y'all here. Anyways, I'm going to grab my charger. Okay, I will see you guys when I get to my appointment. Or maybe we should just do a transition. And then my hair's done. And new hair, who's this? Ding! Well, I'm obviously back from getting my hair done, so this is what it looks like. It's definitely a lot lighter than last time. I basically asked her, I really want the braids to be really like thin. Okay, so I get small, because everybody always asks me every time. I get small, knotless, boho goddess braids with straight ends. And this, I just asked her this time if we could like make the braids really like small in width, if that makes sense, because I didn't want them to be super thick. I kind of like this. I mean, I liked it before too, but I was just like, you know, more curls, 
less braids but you still see the braids in there if that makes sense so anyways i think this is her caribbean curly hair and i get two bundles of the boho or the like bundles the curls didn't leave a lot of edges out okay just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit but yeah if you guys were well, i don't know if you saw my hair last time the curls are always like super tight in the beginning and then they kind of like loosen and fall over the next couple of days and stuff like they definitely loosened up a lot over the course of my time duration whatever having them so anyways yeah it's friday we got our hair done i'm about to well aaron's mom actually picked the boys up from school so they're hanging out with her today and we are gonna go pick up my friend and go to the nail shop because i need to get my toes done and she's kind of like transitioning into like celebrating her graduation and stuff for nursing so i thought like today would be a nice day to just be able to go with her since aaron's mom is with the boys and just kind of like get out on a friday you know when do i ever get out on a friday evening never okay um so yeah i need to get my toes done and i'm not gonna really have a lot of time to get them done next week because so yeah i want to go get my toes done so and take her treat her to a little pedicure so she can like relax she just got done like taking all of her tests and NCLEX and all of that good stuff so i figure you know why not go get a little nail a little toe a little a little drink at the nail shop just hang out probably get some dinner and yeah so that's what we're gonna head out and do right now. Well, actually I'm gonna wait a little bit, but <laughs> we're getting ready to go. I do not feel like I need to change my shirt though. I just don't like the way these pants sit on me. So it's like, I need a larger shirt to hide my fupa. Oh, I gotta go pick up my phone. I'm tripping. Okay, well I'm gonna go pick up my phone first. I'm so glad I remember that. Cause I'm like, um, hello. But yeah, I gotta go pick up my phone from the Apple store. I got the 15 Pro Max. I pre-ordered it. And so I, like when I ordered it, it was like schedule an appointment time to go pick up your phone or whatever. So I'm probably gonna be a little bit late. I'm supposed to pick it up at 4.30 and it's 4.15. I know there's traffic on North Central Expressway. So yeah, it's, I'm not gonna be there on time, but I wanna go pick up, pick up my phone and then probably go scoop her so we can go to get our nails done i think i dropped chick-fil-a sauce on myself earlier i should probably just change huh i think i'm gonna change and then spray my face just get a little a little mini midday refresh i've been sitting in that chair all day Whew. make me sweat. want to see the back of here that i showed y'all oh oh i love this hairstyle I just think I'm just gonna stick with this. I keep saying I wanna try this, this, and that, but I'm like, I can really get down with this until my hair grows back out. And then even when my hair does grow, I'll probably still be keeping braids, but I love braids. I'm a, me and braids go together like this. We like this. We locked in, ain't no switching up. The only thing about when you first get your hair done is I hate that I feel like I can't put my hair up or anything. Y'all know I be touching my hair a lot. I know it'd be driving people nuts, but I just, I can't help it. So it, it is what it is. I'm trying to like that spray go down should i wash my face if i have makeup on i can't reapply my sunscreen i have to wash my face right now i don't know what to do i don't think i'm gonna reapply my sunscreen i think i'm just gonna put some more concealer on just to like spot touch how do y'all get y'all make i guess you need setting spray to make your makeup just like stay all day so it doesn't wear off huh oh i'm supposed to be getting a package in from sephora today too and then tomorrow, Saturday, we're just gonna have like a really chill, light day tomorrow. We're probably gonna go like walking, maybe do a little picnic, depending on what the weather is tomorrow with the boys, but I really enjoyed our Saturday last week. We just went walking and it was just nice to get out of the house. I'm finally starting to get over my social anxiety when it comes to taking the kids out of the house. I think it's more so just like, I like being in free open spaces, not like confined areas when I take the kids out, especially like if it's by myself. So yeah, I'm gonna take them probably to the park on a walk. And then I wanna cook tomorrow a, a nice meal. Cause I haven't cooked, I mean, I've been cooking hello fresh meals but i want to cook a homemade meal this weekend and then get a, a crock pot recipe for sunday or something like that so yeah tomorrow we're just gonna be hanging out being betty crocker giving the mom vibes but tonight well really not tonight but 
today we're gonna go have a little we're having a girl's day i know i haven't really talked to y'all all day because i'm getting my hair done and then i didn't really take y'all to get my hair done i mean do y'all want to see me when i'm getting my hair done because i just feel like it's like not anything by me i'm not getting my hair washed or shampooed you know what i'm saying it's lit, like we're just it's just it's just the brain so i don't know i just be feeling like do you want three seconds of getting i mean you probably do i know somebody's gonna be like yeah <laughs> But that's okay. I feel like as I get more comfortable with the people that I go to my stylist too, because I feel like it's more intriguing if I like y'all get to be there when I'm having like certain conversations with people, but I also don't like putting people on the spot and just filming and recording. But if it was just me, if everybody came to my house and just did my services, oh, I would just, oh, we, we, it would just be big girl talk sessions because I feel like that's all it is when you go get your hair done and stuff. So yeah, then we got big plans next week. We're super busy next week. Got graduation party. Aaron's grandma is coming into town and she's going to be staying with us. So we're transforming the front office into a guest bedroom and I'm literally so excited to do it. I'm excited about that. Um, and then I have my dermatology appointment next week and then we have some other, I'm getting my nails done, lash fill, you know, just getting back into the groove of things of life, not feeling so chaotic, so. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when I get in the car and we get to head to the Apple store. We secured the bag. The Apple store has a line around the block. But you know what? I never usually am late, but being late actually played out in my favor because they have everybody lined up by time. And I guess they're just now getting to like the 445s and I was at 430. So I got to skip to the very front of the line. I said, oh, thank you, blessed and highly favored. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, I ended up getting this one. It's the Pro Max. I always get the new iPhone because of the camera and stuff, obviously, because you know their content for their girls so i'm excited to open it up i'll un unbox it with you guys when i get home but i didn't want to put it together in the store because i'm not gonna put this as my phone this is just gonna be like you know in my shorts bag camera you know obviously i'm still gonna use it for like maybe my own personal things but i just mainly want it for the camera i'm not gonna go out of my way to change the service on my phone right now because what i want the separate phones for is to be able to be using my phone play music listen to music and then if i need this camera for like content or whatever then i can have it for that so i also got the pink silicone case that came with it probably should have got an otter box but this just looked too cute to pass it up so i got the pink silicone case and then i got an extra charger so the chargers did change on the new iphones but i need one for the phone i got right now in my car because my phone's gonna die and the one i have is not working so this is a certified apple one it better work and it better charge my phone good and fast then if it don't we gonna have some problems because i don't know if it's the outlet in my car that's messed up or if it's the chargers we about to see you okay anyways i'm going to pick up my friend i'm driving all the way to book nowhere oh it's such a far drive and there's so much traffic but she always drives to me so today i'm gonna be a good friend and drive <laughs> sorry even though i hate driving and i don't have any snacks i'm out of water all i got is apple juice okay ready set let's go what are we gonna listen to hold on we need to set the vibes first we need to set the vibes it's friday it's the freaking weekend first of all please stop the Grinch is trying to play and there's no children in the car, so... It's the God in me! The definition of my life. open this up now because oh this is zoomed in zoom out please thank you thank you 
I didn't get a chance to open it up yesterday and now it's Saturday morning. So I wanted to go ahead and unbox it. Woo! I don't remember what color specifically I ended up getting. Um, now the iPhones are all USB-C charging. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I don't really like this color. I thought I got like, I did get the, I guess it's like the gray, but neutral, but it's not the one I thought it was. Like, I thought I got like the sandy, more sandy color, but this one is the gray color. Okay, whatever. I also got a case anyway, so it's pink, but let's see if it has any battery. I just turned it on. I don't really feel like anything's gonna be too, too different about it, but I just am intrigued to see what the camera looks like on it and if it really is some better improvement from the 14 Pro Max. I just got this silicone light pink case. Ooh, she's spray. I don't know if, what email address I want to set it up under because I don't want it to have like my personal stuff on it per se. Set up with another device. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to set it up as a new connect to my wi-fi it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone i just want to see the camera you feel me the camera oh where's my other phone my other phone's downstairs on the charger i was gonna say like the comparison of them i don't know i mean they all pretty much look the same to me but okay i'm gonna let it get started up and then we're gonna see what the camera hidden for so we can see if it was really worth the money or if we can take it back to the apples <laughs> i'm kidding but hopefully the camera is good on it just to get some good quality you know content on the phone but anyways like i said today's saturday it's a chill day gonna do like my little reset and stuff tomorrow so i don't have too much on the agenda besides maybe get out get go on a walk i was gonna say it's not seven is it not seven thirty it's nine thirty right now and i think i'm just gonna i want to bake today i'm feeling very saturday say um betty crocker vibes but i don't know what i want to bake like i don't know if i want to try to bake cookies i've been wanting to make chocolate chipless cookies forever like the chocolate chip cookies but i don't really like the chocolate chips but i like the brown sugar cookies so i want to make those and then I want to make something good for dinner tonight and then I think I said like tomorrow I'll probably make a crock pot meal and put it in before we go to church or after we come home for church or something to have like a little quick something something but I don't know what I want to make I don't know if I want to get a steak or I don't know what's in my home anyways I think I want to make that and then I low-key just got like the taste for steak and pasta am I doing too much if I make a steak and a pasta because that low-key sounds fire. I haven't had like an Alfredo pasta in a minute. And I know I could whip me up a good little Alfredo at home. And then I also have not cooked steak in a while. That's a lot of... Is that a lot? But anyways, yeah. I think that's the agenda for the day. But for right now, we're just chilling. Oh, definitely going to be watching Love is Blind tonight. I'm probably going like, to cook dinner early. And, you know, this is going to be like afternoon dinner. Because... The kids gonna have to get in a bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna watch Love is Blind. I don't care what they do after they eat dinner because that means my responsibilities is done and it's Saturday so they can, you know, they can't stay up all night because we have church in the morning but a new season of Love is Blind just dropped and I was gonna stay up last night and binge watch it but I fell asleep because I had been up since 5 a.m. Then we went to the nail shop. We didn't, I didn't end up getting home till like 9.30 and I didn't go to sleep until like almost 1 o'clock because me and Aaron were up talking so I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to watch it but I will be watching it today. I might watch it while they take a nap. I'm trying to decide if I want to go on a walk because a walk will kind of tire them out. Then we can come home, have some quiet time. They can take a nap and then we can cook and stuff, but I can watch my show and just like chill for a couple hours while they're having some quiet time. But we'll see. I kind of want to go out to eat for brunch today. I'm going to do a lot of stuff. It's giving giving i have expectations reality but we're gonna see i've been craving going to this like little family-owned cafe called jonathan's up a fruit from our house i'm gonna let this finish loading and then 
come back and we're gonna test out the flicky flicks. I can't tell if the screen is wider or not. They said it was getting wider. Anyways, okay. I got the phone set up, so we're gonna do some side-by-sides comparing the 14 and the 15 as far as like camera quality. So let's just we're gonna we're not gonna do anything special. We're gonna keep the lighting low and just see what it's what it's giving. Okay. So this is I'm gonna make sure the lens is cleaned off a little bit. This my phone is really just be tripping, but okay. Okay. The zoom quality on this one is supposed to be better too. Let's see if there's any difference. All right. <laughs> I came downstairs. So I wanted to give you all a little update on this room. You know what room we're in the front room because Aaron's grandma's coming to stay with us. So we're kind of making this a uh, guest bedroom, if you will. So let me show y'all need some feedback on what I think. Okay, so basically here is the mattress. It's that one that like self inflates, deflates all by itself. The rug, I'm for sure gonna like pull it out. So it's at least here or maybe center to the mirror in the chair or something. I don't know yet, but I can't decide if I should put the tree over there and put the nightstand kind of thing over here by the chair. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. And then we're also gonna change out this and put a ceiling track in because this rod keeps falling and it's like driving me nuts. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those though and put a put one right here and then get some small curtains and then if she wants to close this, I don't know, I don't know. Just, just hear me out. But anyways, this is what we got so far. I just came out here and I was playing with it but next week I'm gonna actually like focus on this room well it's coming up next week tomorrow sunday then monday so anyways but yeah and then we're eventually gonna do floating shelves right along here and then have like some plants or something like just some stuff up there or finish the panel wall but i haven't decided yet so anyways this is what we're working with before and then my desk is still right here and i'm thinking about either putting up the small tv right here on the desk and then just moving this chair out of here so then she kind of has like the TV area there, or I'm gonna get that little thing on wheels from Amazon that's on a stand where you can just kind of like watch TV on that. But I'm also obviously gonna get bedding for this and make it look like an actual bed. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna shop for that next week too. Anyways, I just came down here to kind of like mess around in here to just see what I need to order so I can have everything before the end of the week next week. Like I need to order the ceiling jacks from Amazon to have somebody come put them up and then yeah i don't really know how i feel about this mirror being in here i thought i liked it but i'm almost tempted to put the mirror move it from over here and put it behind the desk over here because i just don't like something about it just being right here i don't know for some reason like feels very awkward to me even when the layout is different and it doesn't have the bed in here i just don't know about the mirror being right here so anyways child i think i'm gonna move the tree over there and move that over here and see how i like it and try to open up the curtains a little bit let some light in okay i think i definitely like this better over here and I think I'm convinced about moving the mirror because I just feel like it will open up the space a little bit more. It just feels awkward and kind of cut off when you walk in here. And, yeah. Like I love this big mirror, but I just don't think it's going to work out in this space. I think like maybe if I get like a smaller mirror that just hangs here or something, it'll be cuter. And then I'll probably move this upstairs to my bedroom eventually because I don't know how I'm going to get it up there because it's literally oh my god it's so heavy but for now i'm probably gonna slide it over there in front of the in front of the desk area right here hmm okay well i like this better for sure and then once the mirror's out i can maybe like move the chairs down even more a little bit the other chair is over here i'm gonna have to put it in like the storage i got these really cool things off amazon though that you like put your sheets into and organize 
So you basically do like this. Okay, baby. And then it's like you just fold it like this. With the Velcro. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know how it goes actually. Zip it up first. Anyways, you put your sheets in here like this. And then you just store it like this. But yeah. I thought that would be like a good way to organize our blankets and stuff because we don't have like a linen closet technically like upstairs or anything like that so we kind of just have to keep our sheets in our bedrooms. I feel like that would be like a little nicer way to organize it because Carter's room is full of sheets in his closet right now and I kind of wanted to organize them and stuff so I will probably do that. I don't know if I'm do that today but anyways I got those. Anyhow got a little packaging from Osea. <sighs> if I can open it up. I really have no idea what's in here. But I'm excited to find out. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. First thing in here is this body oil, which we know and we love. We love her. Oh. It looks a little bit of a different color. I don't know why, for some reason. I love their packaging. It's so pretty. And then they sent me the body butter instead of the body scrub this time. And I think I've had the body butter before. You just mix the body, the body butter and the lotion together. Or the oil. Yeah, they smell the exact same. Super thick consistency. Maybe I'll use these as my guest um, stuff. And then they also sent me their minis collection. It's got the cleanser, the serum, the cream, the oil, the body balm, and the scrub. Oh, so it's like their bestseller minis. This would be like a cute like holiday gift. I wonder if this is going to be one of their holiday gift sets. Cleanser. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to open up this just quite yet, but let's see where my Sephora order is at because I really want the stuff that's in there. Like, hello? now it's not gonna be here till monday i paid for expedited shipping so they need to refund me my money because that's really gonna jam my glock i only got three things i guess i don't need it right now but still why'd i pay for the extra shipping if it didn't get shipped on time that's the question because i looked up the recipe for the chocolate chipless cookie and i have all the ingredients at home so i'm like i don't have to place an instacart order great now if i want to cook like steak and alfredo i might just do chicken alfredo instead of steak and alfredo because i literally have everything that i need for alfredo i just don't have steak i have chicken so we might just stick with that and cook that for dinner tonight because i don't want to place like another instacart order because i usually do it on sundays when i do my sunday reset day or whatever saturdays i've been trying to just be like more laid back and more chill and i think you can pick whatever day of the week you want it doesn't necessarily have to be a sunday reset but for me i just feel like that works best because it just sets my week up for the most success when i reset the house on sunday i've tried to do it a lot of other days of the week but i always just we just come back to a little sunday reset okay just gets me ready for monday the weekday or whatever so i think i'm gonna just go sit up in my room and chill for a little bit i have to finish up a teensy weensy little bits of edits and all the boys are laying down right now having their quiet slash nap time because i don't really nap anymore but they're having quiet time so i'm gonna go try and finish that up for a little bit that way i have the rest of the day to we can bake this afternoon cook i thought we were gonna go on a walk but it's actually way hotter outside than i thought it was last night we went like early in the morning first thing but um yeah no not today so anyways i think that's what i'm about to do so i'll come back and chat with y'all oh i did finish looking up the phones i had stopped the recording because i was like there's like this pro res thing on the new iphone i'll show y'all oops it's ups it's upstairs I'm not gonna go up there anyways but well maybe i'm not should i sit down here in my computer and be and be um productive i am productive my computer's already down here. Somebody was messing with my chair. Yeah, sit me up. Anyways, you have to like use an external hard drive to record on that iPhone in Pro Resolution, but the quality is really good as far as like the zoom in quality, but also it's kind of a bummer that you have to like plug in an external hard drive to 
basically use that mode of the phone and just kind of inconvenient so i'll be interested to see like what they end up doing about that but um it's because i guess the files are so large you have to have like external space to be able to use it so i got all these cords hanging around huh <sighs> Just as I, soon as I think I'm gonna get some quiet time. Be like, no. No, shuddy. Who said you could do that? Okay, I guess I am gonna go upstairs since go see what Schmello's doing. And then I need my external hard drive to work on my computer. I'm thinking about getting an Apple MacBook desktop. I don't know. Somebody tell me if it's worth it if they have one. I just feel like I've never feel like I needed one because I move around with my laptop a lot anyways. And I feel like it gets the job done, but I've heard the processing times and as far as like rendering, especially bigger files, it's just so much faster on the computer. So I was thinking about getting a MacBook or the Mac desktop, but I just, the way I just feel like, I mean, I need a computer for my job, but it's also just like, mm, it's giving more of an aesthetic and not a necessity. But I'm sure I can convince myself. So this is basically what I'm talking about. If you want to use the ProRes here, like, can y'all see that? You have to, the only way you can turn it on is if you have this, like, or an external drive of some plugged in. Because if you don't, then, oh, maybe you can. I don't know, hold on. It told me I couldn't. I don't know, man. Maybe you don't. Maybe it just works better with an external hard drive. Because I Googled it and it said to use an external hard drive. So anyways, I'll insert the clips that I took on this phone. Because I don't think they're going to be saved onto the phone. Because I did it on the drive. Yeah, hold on. Okay, because honestly, at first, like, I didn't really notice a big difference in the quality versus the... Um, like the 14 max until I turned the or changed the camera settings and then you can kind of tell with the photos it is a little bit better like this is a regular photo that's with ProRes I don't know if y'all can tell the difference but like the little detailing you can just see a little bit more in depth and then this is on like super zoom so the zoom quality I was just taking random pictures but the zoom quality on here is a lot better like look how clear I just want to show y'all what the zoom looks like because I feel like that's the biggest difference I notice. Okay, so like this is zoomed in times five. And if you know when you zoom in on an iPhone, it just gets really grainy. Um, but this is so clear and this is like super zoomed in on there. And then I was like playing around with the zoom and it kind of just like defocuses the water and then focuses on the background. But I feel like it still gives like very cinematic high quality. Um... But yeah, I don't know if this is a video, yeah. I will say the zoom is really best in like the natural lighting because I was taking a video of this and trying to zoom in and the quality wasn't as good. I guess it's still loading. But anyways. Oh. So yeah, when you zoom in, see this one is not as crisp and the lighting is a little bit dimmer over in that area, like the way the natural light is facing, so anyways we'll see if it ends up being worth it i didn't i haven't like finished setting it up or anything so it's just got the regular template but anywho yeah we'll see if it's worth the hype or not i need to go fill up my water because i haven't had water i had tea this morning and i drank my greens but i need to fill up my water cup and drink me some water okay ttyl we are getting ready to do a sunday reset i just got back from church and then brunch and i was gonna get ready with y'all this morning but we were just a little bit tight on time i woke up at the right time but the kids were still asleep and so i had to wake them up to get ready for church so we was just you know quickly quickly but if you didn't see my link to watch the live church last week please go rewatch church even if you're not just trust me it was so good today like it was so good church is always good but you know some days it just has those days it hits a little bit different so yeah i just came on here to say hey what's up but it's sunday so you know the drill we're about to do a reset really quickly and we're starting downstairs which downstairs is really not too bad the kids are up you can hear them 
and then I'm down so I'm gonna get the downstairs done and then kind of do a switcheroo with them have them play outside so I can do the upstairs because upstairs is a lot worse than down here and then we also need to place a grocery order dang I forgot about that I just thought about that when I started talking to y'all Okay, because I'm like, should I? I don't need to stop and plan to place the grocery order right now. But anyways, that's what we're going to do. A Sunday reset this week is super, super, super busy. We have a lot to do, but a lot of fun and exciting things as well. So I'm just overall looking forward to this week. We got today, a little reset, Monday. And we really just have like work and stuff. But then Tuesday, we got a nail appointment. Wednesday is our volunteer day. Thursday, we're going to the dermatologist, period. Also getting a lash fill and then... Uh, Friday and like the whole weekend is my friend's graduation celebration so we'll be going to that and doing that but uh yeah anyways looking forward to this week church always starts you off on the right foot so let's where do we start since well let's start with the fridge no 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 no, no. I need to place the grocery order so let me place the grocery order and then we will get into the reset let's throw this mask ends up drying down for me but I just finished up my little Sunday reset, so we're about to cook. It's a little bit early, but I'm thinking we're going to wrap things up <laughs> early tonight. So we're just going to go ahead and start cooking dinner. The dishwasher is a little loud, so sorry about that. We're going to make a simple dinner really fast. The kids are playing outside. If you can hear them, it's going to be chicken alfredo, so let's do it. Okay, while the water is boiling, we have two Amazon packages. I usually try to save them all at one time, but I'm eager to know what is inside here, so we're just gonna go ahead and open it. Because I got like a couple of different things. Oh, well, I already told you guys at the beginning of the vlog what we have going on, but I ordered stuff for my friend's graduation gift. So I'll come a little closer and show you guys what that is. I got her a bog bag because I heard that's like the cute nurse bay thing these days. So I got a pink clipboard that opens up and it has like, I'm going to open it. <clears throat> Hold on. Because I'm going to put stuff inside of it, but it has a clear acrylic front pocket. So you can put a paper in there and then you could even dry erase on the paper if you need to like erase stuff. I don't know, but yeah, it has like this clear pocket here, a clipboard piece here, and then it has a second opening back here. So it opens up two times. Everybody says that these are good for like orientation and stuff. So since she just graduated, she'll be a new nurse. She'll go through orientation. I got that. And then I also got her just some like little stuff to go inside the bog bag. So I got the warm and cozy body lotion from pink i just got all pink stuff because pink is my favorite color so i just kept it like all a theme so these are some like aesthetic highlighters i got to go in there and then i also got her this little mirror to put in her bog bag and then i got the little um fat oil lip balm it's not the exact color pink that i was going for but anyways it'll do so i got this stuff I have some more stuff coming later throughout this week, but our graduation is not till Friday, so we're just gonna finish boiling up the noodles and cooking dinner. I wanna bake some cookies tonight, but I wanna do it peacefully. I wanna do it in quiet. And the kids are spraying each other with the hose right now, and it's just, it's not loud in here, but it's just, oh, I wanna get dinner done first because, uh, you know, Monday's a big day. It's the start of the week, so I wanna get everybody sleep early in bed baths i don't even know what time it is i think it's only like they're spraying my window they're all soaking wet it's hilarious i think it's like 3 30 so by the time i finish dinner i'll be in like 30 minutes it'll be four o'clock i see you what's up not right this second no not right now <laughs> no so anyways yeah we'll probably I'm gonna finish up dinner and then give them all a bath. By the time they all take baths and stuff, we're gonna do an early dinner tonight, probably like five o'clock. Chill out, have some relaxed time. I'll probably let them wind down like and watch their shows and then I could take my shower and get myself ready for bed because I also wanna go to bed early since, you know, gotta be up in the morning. Well, let me make sure this is not on slow-mo because I will be sick. Okay, we're not in slow-mo, but baby, I was gonna say, because this camera will surely get you every single time. 
tonight. So yeah, I will see you guys probably later tonight. We're gonna spend some like self-care time together after I get out of the shower and then hopefully make cookies. I really wanna watch an episode of Love is Blind and make my cookies. So I'll be back after Din Din. I can never tell when the noodles are done. I used to think it was so fun to throw them up against the wall because that's like the trick to see if they're done is if like you, if they stick to the wall. What does al dente mean? Like, does that mean like not overcooked, but not hard? I like my noodles really soft. skincare i do need to like take an everything shower and shave and stuff but i think i'm just gonna save that for the morning time and yeah because after dinner i just it's done it's a done deal if we make it to dinner and i cooked it yeah it's a wrap don't worry about it after that so i'm just gonna do my skincare with you guys surprise surprise i have added something else into my skincare routine but it's actually been really helping just putting a washcloth to take this mask off because anybody else leave their face masks on way too long i really put this on because i was picking at my forehead which i'm sure y'all will see or can see already I have those little texture bumps on my forehead and I've been so doing so good about not picking at them and then all of a sudden I was just like mm, they're angering me because it's like no matter what I do like I can just see them and it's driving me nuts and so I picked at them which am I probably gonna regret over the course of this next week yes okay anyways the reason why I don't really feel like taking a shower is because I'm more enticed to take a bath so I am on exfoliation night of my skincare routine so I'm gonna do this little exfoliating scrub, but it's also a mask, so did I just do two masks for no reason? Maybe, but I really just forgot, so I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna take a bath really fast and then finish up my skincare with you guys. I'll take it out the tub, but I just wanna soak, relax, rest my feet. Cleaning will take you out. Okay. This is just the, uh, gonna make sure I don't get it on my brows. I'm also day three of my brows, so they should be peeling this week, so we're probably gonna look crazy and hot mess anyways. Um, the mask I just used though is the Detoxifying Scrub Mask by Skin Visor. It's like a little bit abrasive, so physical exfoliate, but also chemical as well. So it just helps texture and it's got the BHAs and the AHAs and stuff like that in it. So I went back to like kind of like skin cycling a little bit as far as like exfoliation night and things like that. So I'm gonna take my bath in the mirror bath. I was gonna do all my skincare, but I'm about to go take a bath. Let me put a hydrating lip mask on though. Because my lips are dry. I have not drinking enough water today. Favorite mask ever. Boom. Surprise! Back. Now we gotta wash this mask off. But on a side note, I've been using this deodorant. Y'all know it has been a struggle and a half for me for some reason to find a good deal. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to do an armpit detox or something. It's not like that. I'm like, don't give me down. Do too much. I ain't messy. I never said that. But it's just like throughout the day, I'll feel like, oh, I need to like reapply my deodorant or it's just not giving me as fresh as I want or I just don't like the scent that is perspirating off of me, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. The secret deodorant, I liked at first, I liked the fresh smell, but it still just was not, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so yeah, girl. Anyways, I need to brush my teeth really fast. Also, I will never ever be going back to any other type of toothpaste because this one from Lush 
eats. <laughs> the only thing that I was thinking is like, it's a little unsanitary to be like dipping my toothbrush back in this jelly paste every day. Also, it's raining, so I feel like I need to make the cookies now because I would just like set the whole vibe off like cookies. Rain. Love is blind. I'm debating about watching Love is Blind tonight though, because I'm like, I know myself and I will binge it. Like, one thing about me, I will finish, I make sure it's vlog. Also, can I say something? Because last week I didn't rant or talk a lot in the vlog, but I read a comment and somebody was like, girl, do you? Because the people who are here for you, you, you were here. But, anyways, I just want to talk about how much I feel like it's really easy to sometimes cry. <laughs> How sometimes it's really easy like to focus on the negative things that people comment to towards social media but i just want to get to the place where like not even addressing or saying anything about the negative things that people say because it's like there's so many more people that are so positive and so kind to me and i just want y'all to know that i appreciate y'all so much and even though i don't really give people attention i will like uh casually you know not that i'm bothered but it's just like everybody has that you know what i'm saying like somebody says something about you or to you then you feel like the need to kind of like defend yourself in a sense or it does make you like for the instance of what i talked about in a previous vlog it just makes you self-conscious about certain things you know what i'm saying but there's just so many people that are just so kind and nice and it outweighs a t like it outweighs a negative for me like a ton and so i will not be saying anything else about the haters do you feel me it's just i already don't call me back you're never gonna get a response out of me ever okay i don't care <laughs> but i just want to say that because i was thinking about that my girl don't be mad about what one or two people say we have so many other people who are just positive you know what i'm saying so anyways here i go ranting <laughs> oh Sorry. Yeah, I'm brush my teeth really quick. Brush your teeth like this. Not like this. Don't know who needs to hear that, but I mean, I go like that to like get the teeth back there, you know what I'm saying? But like I try to brush up and down. Because that's what the bristles are actually for to like get in between your teeth and when you brush like this, they don't get in between your teeth how it's supposed to so. Brush this mask off my face. I'm so excited to go to the dermatologist, you guys, because I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm being optimistic. But I do have a dermatologist, and I'm like going back to her because I haven't been since before I got pregnant with Carmelo. And originally, she had prescribed to me this custom formula to help with dark marks and stuff. And I don't really know if it worked or not, just because like I was pregnant, so my skin kind of just cleared up. So I don't know if it was more so like my pregnancy hormones or if that was actually working at the time. But anyways, I stopped using it. So I'm going to go back to her, ask to get that prescribed. And then I'm going to get her opinion on getting on spironolactone, even though I already have the prescription. Because it's just really easy to get if you live in a state where you can do telemed. You can get spironolactone on like Nurex and a couple other websites offer it. So, okay. So, I'm going to spray my face with this antibacterial spray since I just sat here and picked up my face. And I just don't have any germs getting in there or kind of just kill whatever was there i also need to put my ointment on my eyebrows i hope they peel quickly because i have something to do this weekend i don't want to be looking crazy okay Anyways, okay, the antibacterial. This is the toner I started using. I was like, okay, I need a toner, I think, to really help with the texture and just, like, my clogged pores because that's really, honestly, the only thing that's going to, like, really penetrate the skin and, like, get rid of that. And this has helped so much. Like, just, like, over the last couple of days of using it, I've noticed, like, a big difference in the texture on my cheeks. It's just not as bad. Like, every day I wake up in the morning, it's more and more improved. So, mm -hmm. it was one of those viral tiktok korean skincare products i have been liking it i want to go get a facial but i don't have time this week because i'm super busy all week and i have lots of other appointments that i'm going to so anyways i've been using that and then i'm just gonna follow it up with 
my frequency wand. So I think I finally cracked the code to this because sometimes I'm like, I feel like it just doesn't work, but I just wasn't using it long enough. And now that I kind of like really sit there and focus on the spots, I really notice like these I picked at, but when I wake up in the morning, unless I just got like a really bad one or irritated it like way too much, which I think it'll be fine, but we'll see in the morning. For the most part, they go away or they go down. So I'm just gonna do like, I stopped using it all over my face and just more so focused on like the areas that need to be treated. I'm gonna zap all these. And then I'll be right back to finish up. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna put this on. So I'm gonna back up here so you guys don't see your extra. <laughs> oh, I hate when my skin is breaking off. Oh, it's such a bummer. And I feel like I've just been solving so many highs and lows on this journey huh <sighs> but we're gonna get together oh my forehead real bumpy okay anyways i went in with the retinol and then i'm just gonna let it sit in my skin it's like <gasps> go to bed and then i'll go on top of it with the torture i have the worst like when i be trying to do the it's actually so cringy <laughs> asmr touches but anyways um yeah i'll go on top of the moisturizer but i just like the red let the retinols in my skin um and then for my hair care for the boho braids when they're fresh baby i'm like concerned about these two right here that they're gonna fall out but anyways i'm just gonna split it down the middle and then go in with a mixture of conditioner and water that i put in this spray bottle and I know some people say like wetting it makes it frizzier faster, but it really just depends on if you're wearing your bonnet or a scarf at night because with the like human hair, you are... This is the maintenance that the braiders tell you to do. Like you're supposed to put leave-in in it and you're supposed to like finger detangle it and all that good stuff. So anyways, it's obviously fresh, so I don't have a lot of tangles, so I'm just going to finger detangle for now. Just check for any knots or mats and then if there is any i'll look at the brush and kind of like lightly brush through it and then just braid it up i was thinking maybe i could do even like the heatless curl hack with my braids but i don't know if they're too thick but like wrapping them up on that instead of like braiding them every night and see how they turn out we gonna just get used to me wearing these braids because I'm gonna be having these in until I grow my hair back. I was thinking about getting a glueless wig <clears throat> and I might for like a special occasion or something because I don't plan on like leaving my hair out or doing any silk presses because I really just want to get back to having my hair healthy. But I feel like this is a cute way for me to have a protective style because I also don't want to wear my natural hair out in the state that it's in right now because it's so damaged doing this i'm gonna try a different curl pattern next time maybe i don't know i did already book it for a certain type of bundles but i think i would like these the best really but i like for i went ahead and booked for my braids like next month because <clears throat> my braid or her books open up at the end of each month but anyways i wanted to try like a looser texture curl to see if i liked that so maybe we'll just try it out and see i mean we can always go back i get the caribbean curl or that that's what curl this is and i think even if you don't live in dallas <clears throat> sorry excuse me i have like a tickle in my throat I need to go drink some tea but my writer she sells her bundles on her website i think yeah see this side's a little tangly a little tangly tangly once my hair loosens up though, I'm probably going to start wearing it in more like updo, so I'm not like always touching it and touching my face. It stopped raining. My camera battery died, but I finished up my hair and then I put some oil in my scalp. Well, we're going to attempt to make these cookies. I don't think it's really going to take that long. The recipe says it doesn't take that long, so well, I have this little bit of energy and I still have to make my bed anyways and throw another load of laundry in, but we're going to do the cookies. Oh, let me look at my screenshots because I screenshotted the recipe last weekend. I wish I just naturally loved baking and stuff. Okay, you need three-fourths cup unsalted butter. Am I losing my voice? Ghetto. Very much ghetto. One cup of brown sugar, granulated sugar, egg, tablespoon of vanilla, flour, baking soda. Okay, let me get the ingredients. How are they best? What is the wet ingredient? The egg? Is eggs the only wet ingredient? 
and vanilla extract. Oh, you melt the butter. Okay, 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 okay. Unsalted butter, two eggs. They're supposed to be at room temperature, but I don't live on a farm, so this is this I got. Brown sugar. Oh, also, just in case you guys didn't know, when you were thinking about getting the iPhone 15, is the quality nice? Yes, but the camera settings on the 14 Pro Max, and I think all of the camera settings on the Pro Maxes got updates, so do you really need to get the new camera or the new phone? It's giving, I don't know. I didn't know that when I got the camera, so anyways, I don't have any baking soda. Yeah, yeah, yes I do, yes I do. It's just crazy that something that I keep under the sink with the cleaning supply products is something I'm gonna put in my food. Is this, cause the recipe says baking soda, not baking powder, so I do have it, so we're gonna do this. Vanilla extract, got that, and then I ain't got no sea salt. I just got a little bit of regular salt. We're not baby crocker. Sugar. I just want you to know that if you have never had to keep your sugar or your flour in the refrigerator before, you is a different type of bliss. <laughs> I remember, like, if we didn't keep our flour in the fridge it would get like all types of little bugs in it and stuff so i still be in ptsd because i'd be like child is there a bug in there <laughs> anyways okay i gotta go back to her recipe because i know that there's a certain way you're supposed to actually mix everything together chocolate chip no chips recipe i'm following the recipe from Lord help me, I was gonna say the white girl that bakes on TikTok. Her name is, let me call her by her name. We've all as a society gotta get better about doing that. I know I'm guilty of that. And I feel like it's just something that I'm learning, like not learning, but I'm starting to like grow out of, especially being biracial and having identity crisis, which I never really felt like I had identity crisis, but now that I'm getting older, I recognize that other biracial people have it, but I never thought that I really had it. But anyways, we're gonna deep dive into that on a podcast episode because it needs to be talked about anyways. And I have some things I wanna get off my chest about it, but I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna say that anyways, her name is um, Broma Bakery. And what I like about her is like, she just cooked. Ain't no way that baby's up. That's between him and God. I'm about to make these cookies. <laughs> anyways, she makes the recipes on her TikTok, but then she has a blog where you can go read it like a cookbook. I'm trying to find soft and chewy chocolate, chocolate chipless. How to make it okay you have to melt your butter in a medium heat over saucepan whisk the butter until it melts and is evenly heated keep a close eye on the butter do not walk away take it off the heat transfer it to a bowl to cool before using it in your recipe and then do not overmix the dough go heavy on the vanilla under bake them slightly you gotta tell me what temperature it goes on you gotta tell me you gotta tell me we're gonna have serious problems i'm gonna start a blog Okay, preheat the oven to 350. Line the cookie sheet with parchment paper. Bake for 11 minutes, okay. I mean, I'm the cookie queen, so she might know, but she might know what she's talking about. So we're, we're gonna see. Don't judge me. There's Monday and there's Sunday. There's Tuesday, there's Wednesday, there's Thursday, there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. This is the week. This is the week. Let's talk about how no one should ever buy a caraway pot or pan for the price they're listed at because this is what will happen to your pots and pans within owning them for less than a year, really less than like six months, and the handles will break. And even though it feels like good quality material, I feel like this is just so far unacceptable. For the price that you pay for this brand, they need to do better. I mean, they're good cooking pans. Like the food cooks very well in these pans, but like, you can't wash this off, okay? No. I want to try Selena Gomez's pots and pans, but I don't have a single reason to buy them, so. Okay. Oh, it's labeled in tablespoons. How many tablespoons is in a cup? See, this is why I can't bake, because I cannot do math. I do not have patience. I'd be quick to just, wing it and i know baking is like so 
precise. Okay, tablespoons to cup. What? <laughs> Eight tablespoons is 12 tablespoons is three fourths. Okay, so I gotta count on the bottom of here 12. Hopefully, the short one. If I took a bite out of this butter, would y'all be triggered? It looks so good. Okay. You hear it crackling? Ooh, ASMR. Is it giving ASMR? My ADHD wants to prep the dry stuff, but she said don't walk away from the butter, so I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. Giving high cholesterol. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. All right, I'm gonna bring all my dry ingredients over here and put it in the mixer. Mixer. We need to wash this out. It's been collecting dust. Okay, cookies are in. I put them up for 11 minutes. I'm a little nervous because the texture didn't seem right to me, but also I've never baked cookies before. So I'm gonna make my bed really fast, come back down, get the cookies, and then oh, love is blind. Here we go.